So what I'm gonna do is I've got some chicken breast here that I have, that are nice and thin and I'm gonna season them with some kosher salt and black pepper. Very simply, and again, what we're doing is here, we're gonna create a pan sauce. I tell you, it's one of the most asked questions ever. And I wanna show you just how simple it is to do. So we've got our pan going. I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil inside of our pan. Coat the bottom and get it nice and hot. All right. Now, one of the things that I don't normally do, but in this case I'm gonna do, because I don't think it's bad, is that I'm gonna add some garlic powder. I normally use fresh garlic, but garlic powder is fine if you get a good brand and not too much, because it does go a long way. So we're just gonna put a little bit on both sides, like so. And then the last thing we're going to do before we place it in our pan is that we're gonna dredge this in a little bit of just basic all-purpose flour, and that's just gonna keep it from sticking. It's one of the little tricks and techniques that you can learn. Also, make sure your pan is nice and hot because we want to sear this and it's going to cook fairly quick. So, dredge our chicken and then just. Now, one of the other things I want you to understand is that when you place your chicken or any kind of protein or vegetables or whatever inside your hot pan, you want to go away from yourself, okay? Layer away from yourself. Really important so you don't burn your arms, your face, your family member. So away from yourself. All right. Chicken, as you can see, nice and brown. Very, very simple. And if you've got a piece here that got tucked underneath, we'll just turn that back over and get that coated. And just turn it again. Right, so. chicken broth to our pan. Now, got to be careful, it's going to be very hot. What we've done is we've degraded the pan. As you can see now, if you look at the bottom of the pan, all of that beautiful flavoring from that chicken So now we're gonna go ahead and place our chicken back in the pan. And I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some mushrooms. And today I've got some wild mushrooms and use shiitakes or whatever you want, or regular white mushroom mushrooms are fine. And I'm gonna chop these. And as if you notice on how I'm chopping, this is something we also teach in Chef Brian's kitchen, the proper way to use a knife. And you can see I can do it both ways. You can do the glide method or the chop method, okay? And if you, Learn how to use your knife properly, you will never cut yourself. Perfect. I'm going to add that to our pan. Get the mushrooms nice and coated, delicious. 
I want to add a little bit more chicken broth. If you see that your pan is losing some of the juice, don't be worried. Add a little bit more broth. Because again, you're going to be making our natural pan sauce. Don't worry about if your mushrooms are not cooking as fast as we had the chicken had a head start. So that's okay, because the mushrooms are going to be a part of our sauce. So now, we're going to slowly start to assemble this. And I'm going to show you how this gets really good. And we'll take our chicken, which is now completely cooked through. Place it here. Place it here. Now we're going to start creating our sauce. So we have our chicken broth and our mushrooms. Now, to this, we're going to add about two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. this reduced down. Put that pan on high again. And you can see how it's coming down. It's reducing into a natural pan sauce. This is exactly what you want. Now when this reduces by half, we're going to do probably the most famous trick in creating a great pan sauce, which is called an emulsification and it's usually by adding some form of fat. And today, we're gonna to be using unsalted whole butter. Okay? So give this a couple of minutes. Maybe another minute or so. Let's see it's coming down. So now, we're gonna add our whole butter. Two tablespoons. Perfect. You can see that sauce starting to really come together nicely, thickening up. Look at that. You can do this in your own home. Now I have some fresh basil that we're gonna add right at the very end, which is gonna give us some beautiful flavor. If we added this before, it would completely cook out and we wouldn't have the natural flavor that we want. Letting this reduce down a little bit more. We're going to turn the heat off now. And now, we're going to take our sauce and pour it right on top. And there you have it. Chicken scallopini with wild mushrooms in a natural pan sauce.